As the Cavs head into their second season with their big three, Cleveland is looking to reshuffle things by featuring Kevin Love more. Now, if you look at the numbers, LeBron is actually more productive with Love than without. Better field goal percentage and more threes. After Wednesday's practice, LeBron said, quote, I just think he's more comfortable in the situation that he's in. He's got a year under his belt. He knows what he expects out of himself and what his teammates expect out of him. I expect big things from him this year with a year up under his belt. I think him being out showed even more of what he means to this team, more than him being on the floor for those three and a half games. It would have been huge for us, obviously, if he was up in the lineup. But it gave him the opportunity to put things in perspective and see what his presence can mean to our team. Sometimes you have to take a step backwards to see how important you are. Stephen A. Smith. Maybe I was a little out of breath. Will LeBron get enough love? I believe he will. Um, I believe whether or not it will deliver a championship is completely contingent on who their opponent out of the Western Conference is. I think there are certain teams that the Cavs can compete with and beat, but I think that there are other teams that they've got. They're not. Con they're, they're, they're probably not going to beat if they were to face in the finals, particularly the San Antonio Spurs. Um, I think they'd have a better shot against OKC because you could do you could still do some posting up, even though Enos Cantor back there. Uh, as a legit big yeah. man, does pose some problems that the Kendrick Perkins, Serge Ibaka trio uh, di uh, duo mm -hmm. could not pose when Miami played Oklahoma City years ago. Mm -hmm. Having said all of that, I think that if LeBron were completely honest and completely forthcoming, forthcoming mm -hmm. he would realize he ain't talking about Kevin Love. He's talking about LeBron James. Because the fact is, is that when LeBron James talks about taking a step back and recognizing your value, thereby insinuating that there's an elevated level of appreciation that one should have, he's talking about Kevin Love, but he's really talking about himself. <laughs> LeBron is a brilliant basketball mind. The man knows basketball. The man is incredibly business savvy, as we all know. He's a highly intelligent brother. And there is no denying that. But what everyone needs to recognize is that one could easily argue that even though LeBron James knew what Kevin Love could bring, that there were times that even LeBron may not have appreciated Love. Mm -hmm. The best thing that ever happened to Kevin Love was LeBron and the Cavs going to the finals against Golden State without him. Yeah. Because playing against Golden State you desperately needed a Kevin Love. You desperately needed somebody that LeBron could kick the ball out mm -hmm. to when he was getting attention that could drill shots. It was supposed to be J.R. Smith. Let's put things in its proper perspective. The Cleveland Cavaliers lost game one of the NBA Finals. That game went to overtime. LeBron had 44 that game. He had to do everything. Kyrie Irvin, practically on one leg, with a very, very bad knee, which was exhibited throughout the conference finals against Atlanta, when his daddy and his agent and everybody close to him didn't even want him to play. Kyrie Irvin went out there after nine days rest, played in game one, had 23 points, seven assists, and oh, by the way, was defending Steph Curry and doing a pretty damn good job of it. And then he went down in overtime. And when that happened, the Cavaliers lost that game. Then without him, came back and won games two and three mm -hmm. with Matthew Della Vadova. Mm -hmm. So if J.R. Smith gives you anything, or as somebody playing the role that J.R. Smith was asked to play, then imagine what they would have done. LeBron, if we can see that, you don't think LeBron sees that? You don't think that he sees that we're talking about a guy in Kevin Love that literally outside of his injury season in 2012-2013 when he only played 18 games, the dude averaged 26 points the season before that and the season after. So this is a guy that can clearly shoot. This is a guy that shoots better than 35% from three-point range. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it, no, he's no LeBron. He's no first-tier superstar or anything like that. But Kevin Love, shoulder, hips, back, questionable knees without question, can still play the game, and if he can't do anything else, he can shoot. And LeBron, I think, 
realize and appreciates that. I'm not saying he always knows, mm -hmm. but he appreciates it even more because had Kevin Love been healthy enough to play in the NBA Finals, I believe we'd be sitting here today with the Cleveland Cavaliers as the NBA champions. Mm. Okay, I hear what you just said, but I am interpreting LeBron's answer a little differently than you did about Kevin Love. Got it. Okay, as you know, I'm not the biggest Kevin Love fan. I think basically he was a very good player on a bad team in Minnesota that never made the playoffs. What was he there, six, six years. years? Never made the playoffs one time. That's all I need to know, and yet you just gave him five more years and $110 million, actually, almost 20 this year. Actually, it was $113 million. Okay, well, I, I, no that's I was earth. told 110, there, but I'll no, give you 113 because it no, makes my case even better. there's no way he okay? should have gotten, he should have gotten about $20 million. I, I agree. So so he's making about $20 million this coming year, and and how Tristan Thompson isn't signed, that's a whole other issue, but I, I want Tristan Thompson on my team before I want Kevin Love on my team. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think, speaking of my San Antonio Spurs, who I believe, and I'm surprised you said this, you think the Spurs would beat the Cavs if they meet in the finals. Yes, as okay, of right now. As yes. of right now. Okay, I'm with you on that. But speaking of the Spurs, I think LeBron is, in the back of his mind, thinking of the pop model, that he really does want to finally back off as he gets into his early 30s and reduce his minutes, especially in the first half of the season, where you just don't play, just, just take yourself out of the game. You know, you're the... You're the unofficial head coach of this team, so so just pull yourself out occasionally and leave it to Kevin Love. So he's not talking about Kevin Love being a co-star or a complimentary star to him. He's talking about him being a substitute, basically, for LeBron. Let LeBron sit and watch Kevin Love be Kevin Love a little bit more the way he was in Minnesota, because you're right. He can score, he can rebound, but I'm also going to remind you that 16 times last year he did not play in the fourth quarter. So what does that tell you about what David Blatt thought of Kevin Love or even LeBron thought of him? When it was money time, Kevin Love was on the pine. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so that, that's, that but, sums but, but, him up but, but, for me. But, but, but the part that I think you're very accurate, you're very inaccurate about, about when it comes to LeBron, LeBron, for the most part, did not sit there and try to tell Kevin, the David Blatt rather, who should play. LeBron may have been, you know, uh, you know, may have had dominion when it comes to what LeBron wants for LeBron. Yeah. Meaning that if he didn't want to come out, he wasn't coming out. If he didn't feel like, you know, running a particular play, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I saw him just scratch, and he admitted that he just scratched what David Blatt suggested in the finals. Yeah. There, there's no question about that. But I don't think that LeBron during the season was like, nah, Kevin Love should have been in the fourth quarter. I don't think that happened. That's when you leave Well, who the made coach. the choice? David Black? Black. Okay, Black that's fine. Those, Black All made right. those calls. So I'm just saying that when you talk about LeBron and the usage or what have you, LeBron, if he wants to take himself out, he's going to take himself out. If he wants to play those minutes, he's going to play those minutes. Where LeBron's, is, that's where he's going to have the say. But when he's looking at other guys, he wants to see that dog in you. He wants it when he took the pictures with Iman Shumpin and J.R. Smith and, mm -hmm. and, and, and Mosk and Tristan Thompson rather than those boys. He's talking about rough riders who he's comfortable going to war with. Mm -hmm. And I think that sitting back and losing to Golden State, he could sort of understood or something that something he probably already knew. Everybody can't be him, and everybody can't be those rough riders, but that doesn't devalue them in certain situations. Okay. Over the course of a marathon 82 sure. stretch, I you agree. Have a point. I'm with you. But come playoff time, yeah. it ain't about any of that. Mm -mm. What is your skill set? What do you bring to the table? Good Lord, Kevin Love can shoot. Sure, he and can. And some, for some reason, when J.R. Smith can't shoot, mm -hmm. he can't seem to do anything else, which I find inexcusable because he's too talented to be one dimensional. Mm -hmm. So Kevin Love can shoot mm -hmm. the basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need him if I go against San Antonio with Tim Duncan yep. and LaMarcus Aldridge. Yep. I'm going to need him if I go against Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. I'm certainly going to need him if I go against Golden State because if I'm LeBron, mm -hmm. I can post. But I need somebody to kick it out to that can help me spread the floor because they're draining three-point shots. Okay. Kevin Love may not be that dog with that personality mm -hmm. that you like to hang around with and be around, yep. but he can play. Mm -hmm. So use him. Okay. And remember, LeBron did call out Kevin Love on social media last year. Remember that? Yeah. 
Okay. So it appears things are heading in the right direction. More trust there. Speaking of love, Cam Newton is getting a lot of love right now with a 3-0 start, but is he MVP worthy? Go to Twitter and vote yes or no using the hashtag MVP for Cam and let us know if you think he's worthy of that title. Meanwhile, a recent study shows some very interesting information regarding brawls during Major League Baseball. We'll dive into that controversial topic when we come back. On the Hook is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here.